Hello you guys, I'm going to film the prices in the Russian supermarket. It's called Pitorochka, which is like Fiverr in Russian. I haven't, um, you know, done a video in a Russian store in a while. The prices have gone up even more since the last time, so let's check it out. Let's see how high the prices are. Here's a really cool Soviet-style Pepsi bottle. There's also Coca-Cola. It's all over the shelves. Apparently, Pepsi and Coca-Cola have left Russia, but you would never know it. Uh, this is wine for about five dollars. Uh, these are milk uh, dairy products. Uh, some more pickled stuff. Uh, sunflower oil, about two dollars. Uh, more expensive sunflower oil, about three dollars, like tomato paste, uh, corn, about a dollar or sixty cents. Pickles are about two dollars. The, sh the shelves are stocked well, like there's no shortages of any food, but it did go up in price a lot. Uh, peppers are about three dollars. I would say the price increases are easily double what they were a year ago, if not more. Tomatoes, very expensive, $2.50 per kilogram, um, about 60 cents each per cucumber. Bread is over a dollar, most of it, which is very expensive, considering how much wheat Russia produces. Prices for bread are just ridiculous. Uh, these are waffles, chocolate waffles that I like. They used to be easily twice less. They used to be like 75 cents, now they're like a dollar fifty. Sweets. Russia makes really good sweets. This is back from the Soviet days. Uh, Soviet um, candy was sure. really good. Way better than American candy. Uh, this is sausages for about two to three dollars, sometimes even more. Yeah, Russian food is much higher in quality than American food. This is not a diss on America, it's just a fact of life. Uh, European food uh, is also higher quality than American food. So I just exited the store. So the prices in the store were absolutely insane. They were super high and I honestly have no idea how people are affording these prices. I don't know where people get the money around here because the salaries in Russia are kind of low. That has been the case always, even during the Soviet times, you know, the salaries are low, the pensions are low, yet somehow people find uh, money to survive in any way. It's like a lot of people basically get um, you know, money on top of the their salary. So it's it's a bit of a weird thing in Russia where you, you the listed salary is one amount and then they get paid a little bit more than that salary. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Look at all these nice cars. You hardly ever see like an old rinky-dink car in Moscow. Most of them are new, well-kept, and this is somehow with the fact that salaries are low, there's supposedly a lot of poverty, yet you never see a homeless person on the street. You never really see people who are like visually poor, you know, like laying around yet like you would see in the United States. All the cars are new, all the stores are stocked, which makes you realize that firstly, there is a huge, like, you know, basically Russia is not poor by any means. Like everybody thinks that Russia is like poor because this image has been built through like Western propaganda. It's not poor. Like uh, I've seen way more poverty in the United States by far. Here you see nice cars, nice buildings, and people think, oh, why don't you go outside of like Moscow and everything? I've gone outside of Moscow, I can tell you that, and I still have not seen, like I've seen poor people, right? Um, oh, by the way, this is a very, very uh, nice uh, view of 
a pond in nighttime Moscow. It's just awesome, you know, taking walks here. Um, I love taking walks, something that in California I could never find a good place for like a nice relaxing walk. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.